We got a question here from Isav in the Discord. Thank you for being a patron, Isav. Is changing altitude need to change tune as well? I have a perfect flying quad in my usual location, which is like 500 meters from sea level, but I went to sea level. I had hot motors and determ oscillation. This is a very interesting question, and I'm so glad you asked it. Yes. Air density changes your pit tune. Now, I'm surprised that 500 meters made that much of a difference. I wouldn't think that 500 meters would make that much of a difference, but maybe it did. But think about it. If I am at sea level and I do a pit tune, the air is literally thicker. My motors will work harder and make more thrust, and therefore my pit gains are gonna be lower, okay? Because the more thrust the motors make, the lower your pit, your pit gains generally. If I take that same quad and I go from sea level up to, say, 10,000 feet or 11,000 feet. Blunty, what altitude is Denver at? You lived in Denver, right? 5,280 feet. And 5, I can tell you 12% okay. loss of thrust. 12 per, wow. Uh, I'm surprised. I thought it was higher than that. I guess 10,000 is I, like I did the math high. with Ross. Okay. So 5,280 feet, 12.5% loss of thrust. That's actually that's actually really great to know that number. Thank you for throwing that out. Um, if I go to 5,800 feet and get a 12.5 percent loss of thrust, I'm gonna my pit gains are gonna change. And likewise, if I go the other direction and get 12.5 percent more thrust, my pit gains are gonna change. Now, most of the time, people aren't gonna notice a difference because most people don't pit tune to the absolute edge. Most people will pit tune and there will be a little bit of give in their pit tune. And so if the thrust changes, they're, they're going to maybe notice a little difference in their tune, but they're not going to see like hot motors or oscillation. But if you've tuned a quad to the absolute edge at high altitude and you take it even maybe just 500 meters to a lower altitude, you're going to see a difference. And that, so what you're describing is a thousand percent plausible. I'm surprised that 500 meters made it that much of a difference, but it is entirely plausible. And, you know, I'm going to just guess that you tuned it to the absolute edge and going 500 meters lower in altitude made the difference. So are, so what can you do about this? Change your props. Like, Professional pilots like Mr. Steele has different props that he uses at high altitude. You can go to a lower pitch prop and the same pit tune will apply because you'll just make less thrust. You could go to a little bit smaller prop. For a tall mountain dive, should you lower your pits to make sure you have okay motor temps at the end? Um, maybe, I mean, if like if I was concerned about mountain diving, I wouldn't be pit tuning like to the 98th percent. I would pit tune to like the 92nd percent. These are made up numbers. There is no way to actually know. But conceptually speaking, I wouldn't push the pit tune to the absolute ragged edge because number one, you want that headroom as the altitude changes. And number two, you're not racing, right? You're mountain cruising. So you don't maybe need like you're not doing ultra aggressive, high speed, fast turns where a pit tune really uh, applies. Google says 500 meters in sea, to sea level is 94% difference in, in pressure. Interesting. Pressure or density? Remember, we're looking at density. Oh, good point. Right? Density altitude is really what we should be characterizing, isn't it? Is that right, Blunty? Uh, either that or actual air density. I think it's actual air density, right? Oh, well, density altitude takes into account temperature, but we're going to assume temperature is the same. That's the other thing. Temperature makes a difference. If you tune on a cold day and you fly on a hot day, two things are going to change. One, the ambient temperature. Your motors are going to be hotter simply because the fluid in which they are operating, the air, is hotter. And so they will run hotter. But number two, the hotter air will be less dense and therefore your pit gain is going to, your pit tune is going to change. All right. That's a really, really fun topic. 
that almost nobody cares about because most people are not running their pit tune close enough to the edge to notice these differences. Air is a gas, not a fluid, King Kleck asks. I mean, okay. But gases are also fluids, aren't they? Am I? I guess it's a gas, not a fluid. Is there any context in which gases are treated as fluids? I just need to be right. I don't, I don't, I just need to have any context in which I would have been right for me to go, oh, well, clearly you don't hang out with the right kind of people. I mean, I think if you're like in ideal environment in an engineering conversation, you can say something like that. But I think if we're talking about the real world, it's not the case. I, I would say that there's a difference between a fluid and a liquid. Gases are clearly not liquid. Liquids and gases are mutually exclusive. But I would say that a gas is a fluid. Well, let's just ask Google. Yes! Yes! Google says I'm right! <laughs> Liquids and gases are both fluids because they can be made to flow. I love being right. <laughs> Uh, Der V says, gases are compressible, fluids are not. Liquids. Liquids, my friend. Liquids. <sighs> okay. Okay. That's all I need from life is to just feel like I was right. <laughs> If I have 2550 kV motors, I have been running on 4S, what would I motor limit to run on 6S? It's very simple to answer that question. Um, the way you answer that question is you take 6S, 6S divided by 4, you take a ratio. 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. Or, wait, we need to go the other way because we're going to reduce the kV of the motor. 1.5 would be going the other way. My bad. 4 divided by 6 is 0.66. So your motor output limit to make a 4S motor have the same RPM on a 6S battery is 0.66 or 0.67. Um, we got a super chat here from Christopher Conkright. Thank you for a $5 super chat. Is there a module for the Fat Shark Dominator HD to run analog or other systems? There is not. The walk snail goggles, the avatar goggles, the fat shark dominator HD, all those are all the same thing, whatever you want to call them. They cannot run analog or other systems. They only work with walk snail video transmitters, period. 